Welcome back everybody to another episode of Kirby Star Allies. So at the end of the last one we finished another dimension. I just want to apologize for the first two episodes. The audio is a little messed up. Um, I wasn't referring to backup because I wasn't smart for those two, unfortunately, so we are going to lose that. However, it's okay. Um, so yeah, we have, we're going to be doing the harder version of the ultimate choice today. The absolute hardest there is. So we do A up minus. And here we go. So Soul Melter Extra, I found out about this at the end of the episode. I have no clue what's going to happen here. I think it's just going to be the EX bosses, meaning it might be short. But I really hope that we have full health and not half health. It's a true mega final ultra mega battle. No regrets. Make the ultimate choice with Soul Melter EX. In we go. But, yeah, so here we are. Of course, we're starting off with a Wispy. Yeah, it's a new fucking version. Great. Dark Winged Disaster Morpho Knight EX. So pretty much how this is going to go down is, is if there's not a Maxim Tomato in that chest, I am pretty much fucked. Because I have, like, I needed, oh boy. Final battle. There's a cherry. This doesn't look like Void Terminal, it looks like it's just the soul. This better be easy. Cause we only got about half health. Nope! It's Void Terminal as fucking well! Are you kidding? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not Big Boy Termina. It better not be or I'm fucking toast. He sounds a lot bigger. He looks a lot bigger. The true destroyer of worlds. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Please, Kawasaki. I'm. It's gonna come down to our boy Kawasaki in a minute. Because that fucking laser took out like a quarter of my fucking health. Holy shit. Astral birth. Boy, no way! Holy fuck! Did you guys see the background? Dude, that shit's like fucking Dreamland 3 almost. What? The fuck? Get in there, boy. We got one fucking thing out of Kawasaki's cook. Taking a little bit of damage each time. Oh my god. What the fuck?
big game knew how to fuck you over. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Holy fuck, this is so cool! Ah! What the fuck is happening? He's gonna go... Hey, can someone kiss me? First fucking one. And that was there. That was fucking cool. And then you had the fucking other one. That was insane, dude. Absolutely insane. Unfortunately, we fucking died. But. Like, that was so cool. You had then. What else was there? There was fucking, you like the flaming shit, like that is honestly so, it's such a cool fucking boss. Like, holy shit. It's a shame that it's gonna take me forever to get back there again, but... At least now, I know better some of the attacks. I think I got fucked over on that last one because Kawasaki cooked at such a shit time. Like, he had a chance to cook right at the start, when all the stars, all that shit was down, and he didn't. I got really unlucky there. So, I mean, I don't know what the fuck you want from me. And then that last phase for Void Termina, dude, what the fuck? That final boss, holy fuck. The references and all that shit, like the zero. Then you had fucking, like honestly, I'm not even that mad that I died there. I'm really not. Because, like although yeah, it's annoying to die there, like I learned one of the attack patterns. That was all just hectic as fuck. So I was panicking, didn't know what to do there. And, like, I don't know, I couldn't really have done much more, but, like, <sighs> that fucking fight, dude. Holy shit. That is gonna be, like, that boss, dude. That is honestly, like, I don't know, dude, that is the coolest fucking thing. Like, that is the coolest fucking thing. Kawasaki seems to cook at the worst fucking time. And I don't understand him. I wish there was a way for me to trigger him, like, coming and actually, like, cooking, like, when he cooks. Like, see, now, now's a good time to cook as well because you have all the fucking stars out, but he didn't do that in our other one for some reason. Like, see, that shit would have gotten you all the way to full hell, but he didn't do it. So that's what I'm saying, like, going into that boss, if I'm, like, lower than half hell, I'm, I might be fucked unless Kawasaki actually cooks. Like, at that point, it'll come down to luck whether he cooks at the right time or not. But, dude, fuck. I am very pleased with that final boss. That shit is sick. And apparently I can't do Wind Bomb anymore. There we go. 
but dude, literally, that is so cool. I'm so happy. That is so fucking cool, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna keep attacking. For once, I'm actually gonna dodge here. That's also just shitty fucking thing. See, I keep doing stupid shit. Why do I try and just, like, block to get out of it? I should just block. I take tiny ticks of damage, and there's less chance of me getting absolute butt fucked. Come on now. We're gonna get it soon, I can feel it. Alright. a whole lot guys So we're gonna get food here too, no matter what, because Rick is gonna thaw ice, and we get food for that. But... He just got all those stars. Nice! All the way back up to full health. Sweet. Good shit, man. Again, I ran right into it. Why do I automatically think it targets on me? Like, am I dumb or something? I have to be. So I'm not actually thinking ever if he was dead. Okay, she's dead. All right, dude. 
at least we know a little bit of the dodging and shit for the final Void Termina fight. I just think we're gonna need fucking... Like, I also wasn't doing a lot of attacking in that fight when we fought the Astro Void. It literally is like a mix of every single fucking soul boss that has ever been created in Kirby. It's fucking it's so cool. Every soul boss slash final boss, it's honestly so fucking nice to be able to see that. Like, I'm just so happy that that's what it is. I'm glad it isn't just like a reskin. It has more meaning. Like, it is a reskin, but it has more meaning. Pretty much. Like, I don't know. It relates back to more things. So, assuming we go into Meta Knight like this, who do we have after him again? Uh, DDD. Uh. Yeah, I probably should have taken the thing now, actually, instead of waiting for DDD. But I remember, like, I'm not attacking or dodging. Nice work, guys. Hey, Vivager, when you want me to paint to give some health back. I think if I sit in the top corner... How the fuck? Okay, well, my friends attacked it quick that time and got me out. Okay, so at this point now, fight is free. Very simple. All I have to do is break a couple rocks, I mean. Easy. Alright, now we got DDD. We have five food left, I can take one after every single fight. Same as usual. Oh, Alright. We're doing okay! It's been an hour and 12 minutes of attempting this. So that's two tries to the final boss, and two tries to Krako. In set time. So I've done a total of four attempts in an hour and 12 fucking minutes, which goes to show how long this takes. And the majority of that time was spent getting to the final phase, or the final fight. Which sucks for me because, like, getting to the final fight isn't the, like, the hard part about this isn't getting to the final fight. That's the easy part. The hard part is the actual legitimate final fight. But I feel like now, that I have a better understanding of the attacks, I will do better. Yeah, because I know better the final attacks, I think I'll be able to do better, which is a plus, uh, but I don't know for sure. So I need wind. Give me wind, her, her, uh, her turning too. Okay, get everybody back up to full health for Highness. We got this, boys. Or I got this. You guys are just watching. But I'm gonna do it. That was pretty good by me, actually. Shit. Okay, well, my- this was actually a really good highness. Not gonna lie. Okay, no more getting greedy and trying to do attacks, just simple dance and dodge. I 
can position myself about here. Just avoiding the fight. And Primus is now toast. Sweet. Mages now. Mages, mages, mages. How are we gonna do this? I need to find a way to dodge that second attack, dude. Because every single time, every single time I've managed to clutch it out, but I've also managed to get hit there every single fucking time. So I'd like it if for once, that didn't fucking happen. Because this is like, re realistically... Like, I don't know, realistically this is literally the only fight that beforehand I could, I, I could, but I, I wouldn't say should, but I could die too, or that it would be like, why do I get picked up in the fucking axe sometimes, and other times I don't, I really don't understand, I'm gonna fucking die, give us health, Vividra, I found a way to dodge it. Where am I? Why did I get hit? This is the most amount of health they've been at for me at this point, like ever, in this point of the game, which is really fucking bad. I know. Oh shit! At least I know how to dodge that midpoint in the fight. Now, at least I figured it out. I can literally just go up in behind Zan. That would make life really easy. Okay, so we should, we should be able to get back to the Astrio guy again. But hopefully, in the second part of the ter Void Termina fight, we're not gonna get butt fucked again. Cause that laser section, dude. That fucking laser section. I have to remember, defense is the best offense. It's always more important to focus on dodging than it is attacking. I have unlimited time. And... We should be good. And I fucking ran into it on the way out. Okay. I don't need you guys getting fucking corrupted on me. It doesn't look like the actual void does that shit where he corrupts them anymore at the start, which is a good thing. Fuck, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, okay. 
okay. We're fine. That was good up until the ending. See, it takes about 20 minutes just to get back to this final fight. Which I might not even win at. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's do this, guys. We can do it. Yay. I need win before we go in. Can't forget that. So I need to, I also need to do a bit more attacking though than I did on the last one. The last one I was just confused, I was scared in the second, like the Astral Void part. I need to just concentrate and do well. If I can get out of this first phase without taking any damage, I'm in great position. I'm very well capable of it, I just need to make sure I'm not being an idiot. Wrong button! Holy fuck. That's to jump. Okay, see there it didn't happen. There's a cooldown. That's not fucking cool. Cause I take stupid fucking hits. If Kawasaki can somehow manage to get us a meal in this second phase, I'd be happy. Lock onto the back. Got it. Okay, give me, give me ice, 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 ice. It's fucking spark. Of course, it's fucking spark. Just in case, you never know when you might get hit. Again, better to just take it slow and easy rather than rush to anything. Okay, this phase, if we can get Kawasaki. We didn't cook anything, it's whatever. We're doing just as good as last time. This is the fucking hard part. I don't know how the fuck I managed to do that. But it's the same shit as last time. I'm doing exactly the same. Health is literally identical to the core. I couldn't evade another axe. Okay, wait, no, I did avoid another axe. Okay, here is the hard shit. I want to start at the corner of an arena. Because this shit's brutal. I'm gonna attack in the beam here.
they didn't get hit there that time. Okay. Good shit. We're doing a lot better. Like a fuck ton better. I was flashing red going into this last time, I think. I want to see this again. So Astral Void. Let's fucking go. Look at the background here, guys. Oh my god. Astral Birth Void. Literally the reincarnation of every single fucking Kirby final boss pretty much ever. Slash souls ever. See, this would be a great time for Kawasaki to cook. get hit in the corner. Okay, that's something to take note of. Assuming I die. Jumped right into the fucking thing. I want some cooking here, people. Guys, hop in, hop in, hop in. No, we're only gonna get like two, three things of food. Ish. ending holy shit let's go <sighs> truly incredible victory fuck yes holy shit we just unlocked a fucking thing you can what that is so fucking cool that is so cool and we've completed a picture ah that looks sick! Let's go! <laughs> we did it, guys! I can't believe that! Oh, fuck! There is another crown! <laughs> well, I might repeat all of these, like, on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I might redo that to get all the green crowns. I don't know, dude. Oh, maybe. Maybe. But we're done with this mode for now, dude. I am done with it for now. Does it change the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
That's amazing. That is amazing. I'm speechless, dude. That is honestly amazing. That is incredible. Oh my god. The grin on my face, you guys. You don't understand. <laughs> Well, with that said, I think I'm calling it an episode, guys. I will see you all in our playthroughs of Guest Star Allies Go. I actually haven't looked at the splash backgrounds yet. I do want to look at those. Because we got four rounds of this to do. We have Mega, we're best friends forever. That is a nice splash back. Taranza, also a nice one. Nice! That also looks really good. Ah, that's funny. Well, guys, there it is. We've done it. I will see you all in the next videos. We're gonna have Maglor, Terranza, Susie, and the three Mage Sisters. They're all gonna get played in their own individual video. This video likely won't be out until I've beaten all of them because. I'm looking to get those pictures, there's a total of five of them, but anyways, thank you all so, so, so much for watching, uh, and anyways, I'll see you all later, peace out.